Hey guys, so today we're going to be showing you how to do this look, Princess Elsa, part three of our princess series. Um, this is probably the most difficult one if you don't know how to French braid, but you can learn. It's not that hard. Um, so if you want to find out how to give your little girl an Elsa braid, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm just spraying the Johnson & Johnson No More Tangles in her hair and just combing out all the tangles. And then I'm just brushing her hair all over, kind of on an angle to one side. I find it works best if you start with the hair that has the less amount of hair on the side, if that makes sense. Like Molly has the least amount of hair on her right side so I'm brushing it all over to the right because that way when you do the braid you won't run out of hair if you do it the opposite way you tend to run out of hair by the time you get to the end okay so now what I'm doing is I'm just picking up a section of hair and this is just like you would do with a regular French braid except you're just doing it on an angle and I think I French braid a little different than um, people normally do but I think it's easier what I do is I hold the three sections in between my fingers with one hand and then I cross the two sections over into the other hand and then I pick up the section and bring it to the middle and then I cross it back over to the other hand again. And I just keep repeating that over and over again. To, for the Elsa braid, you're gonna wanna keep going on an angle downwards. So you're picking up the hair um, so it's gonna change directions on you. You just wanna keep going down on that angle. Um, if you have trouble French braiding, it just takes practice. Um, it is easier to do on somebody else than yourself. So if you do have like an older kid maybe, like seven to 10 that will actually sit there and let you practice, that might be the easiest way to learn. Um, but like I said, I think the way I do it is way easier because you're just keeping the hair in the one hand the whole time and and just flipping it over to the other. Um, Molly's hair isn't obviously as long as Elsa's hair is, and I'm sure a lot of your kids aren't, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be. You can. I've seen people like get extensions and stuff, but I wasn't going to do all that for my two-year-old, but you could totally do that for Halloween or special occasion or whatever you want. Um, once you get down where you don't have any more hair to pick up, then you're just gonna continue the braid down to the end and then secure it with a hair tie. And then once I do that, I'm just taking a bobby pin. Since her hair isn't long enough to like lay down her shoulder, I'm just taking a bobby pin and I'm just pinning that braid at the end of her neck to her head just so that the braid stays downwards to the side because if your hair is not long enough, then it kind of tends to go back to the middle and that just helps with that. So this is the finished look, Princess Elsa. It is super, super cute. And like I said, if you don't know how to French braid, it just takes practice, but it's really not hard and it's definitely something that you can do. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. We love it. Molly loves being Elsa for today, and uh, please be sure to subscribe. If you haven't, like, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye!